We are living in a time where never before has it been so important for people to awaken the power of their heart. My name is Emily and I am a Breath of Bliss facilitator. In this video, I will share a little bit about Breath of Bliss and breathwork, how it has transformed my own life and the gifts that it has to offer you. Breath of Bliss is a modality that I have studied extensively in and essentially it's a group breathwork ceremony. We call it a ceremony because we are really invoking the sacred and the divine as a part of the journey. Breath of Bliss ceremony goes for a couple of hours and the main event of the ceremony is the one hour lying down breathwork journey. Before we enter into the breathwork journey, we move through a couple of practices that are both individual and either with the group or a partner. These practices are essentially helping people to open up the physical, emotional and energetic bodies so that by the time we're lying down for the one hour breathwork journey, the individual is really in a space to receive the most benefit from the breathwork practice. Breathwork is a very powerful modality that utilizes a particular breathing pattern and this breathing pattern activates many of the body's systems to induce the breather into an altered state of consciousness. This is quite an active practice with people familiar with pranayama or um, certain styles of breath used for meditation practices. Breathwork is quite different to these practices. With pranayama or a relaxing style of breath, if you can imagine we have a glass of water and in this glass of water there's some dirt and some water well when we do pranayama it's like um, we're allowing the water to come to a complete stillness so that all the dirt can rest on the bottom of the glass but when we do breath work what we're actually doing is we're going into the glass and we're taking the dirt out altogether. So it's quite an active practice. It requires a, um, a certain level of focus and attention and engagement with the practice. But essentially what we're doing is we are journeying down into the subconscious mind using the power of the breath and the, the oxygen in the body to start detoxifying not only the physical body, but the emotional body and the spiritual body of any stagnant or stored energy. But as we do this, we can have a variety of experiences and those experiences can be physical, they can be emotional, they can be spiritual. When we breathe in the way that we do during breath work, which is in and out through an open mouth and connecting the breath so that there's no pause between the inhale and the exhale, we activate the pituitary and pineal gland, and this releases dimethyltryptamine into the body, also known as DMT or the spirit molecule. With this activation and the way that it interacts with our nervous system and the deep detoxification that's coming from having the blood flooded with oxygen, we basically go into this altered state of consciousness that allows us to access our memories and essentially reprocess them from adult consciousness. Most of the material that is stored in our subconscious mind was put there when we were seven or younger. We have a lot of material down in the subconscious mind. 95% of our reality is manifested today from our subconscious mind. Essentially what we're doing in life until we have the awareness to process what's in the subconscious is we're just repeating patterns, patterns of behavior, patterns of thinking over and over again until something causes that to 
um, shift in some big way, like an accident or getting sick, or maybe we have a spiritual awakening and then start healing the subconscious mind. Through breath work, we're able to get down into the subconscious mind and through the power of the breath, alchemize and transmute all of this stagnant energy and these constricted and dense belief systems and thoughts and experiences that have been stuck in the cells of the body. And so during a breathwork practice, you might have memories come up that you had completely repressed from childhood. You might have memories come up from a past life. You might be able to have a conversation with a loved one who has passed over or um, one of your ancestors or your higher self or an ascended master. You might have a very physical experience and experience immense heat or cold in the body. You might have um, orgasmic experiences as your sexual energy gets activated and starts moving through the body. There really is no limit to the kind of experiences that we have during a breathwork session or a breathwork journey. This is a very powerful tool for cleaning the subconscious mind. It's hard to access what's in the subconscious mind unless we go through a theta state. So the subconscious mind is not available to the conscious mind. The only times we access the subconscious mind usually is in that brief period when we're just waking up from sleep and again when we're falling asleep. It's kind of in between waking state and sleep. To clean the subconscious mind and to discover what's operating in that place, what belief systems, what ideas, what thought concepts exist in the subconscious mind, we need tools that take us into that deeper brainwave state. But I have found breath work to be the most powerful one for not only getting in there, but also giving us the ability to quite quickly and profoundly transmute whatever we find in that space. In order to really alchemize something from the body, we have to meet it fully, feel it, and then integrate it. And breath work gives us the sacred and safe container to do this, to do this cleaning up and this integrating of whatever exists in the subconscious mind in a way that feels really powerful and empowering. You know, we feel empowered in that space to be with this material, to breathe through it and literally watch it transform in front of our eyes as we are able to download new programs that feel more in, in alignment with the truth of who we are. So in this way, breathwork is really a process of de-armoring our heart because all of these layers and these belief systems that exist in the subconscious mind, they, their purpose for being there is to keep us safe. Those protective measures, they don't really serve a purpose when we're an adult. And usually the, the mechanism by which they, they govern themselves is quite dysfunctional. Through using the power of breath work, we're able to go in there to penetrate through these layers of armor and get to the vulnerability that we're protecting. Through that process of connecting with that vulnerability, we're able to see that those protective mechanisms, that armor around the heart actually isn't necessary anymore. Consistently, I found that on the other side of a ceremony where this deep release and integration happens, that layer is permanently gone from my experience and never to return. As we de-armor the heart, we have the courage to show up in our life more as our authentic self. We're able to hear the wisdom of our heart and know what's right for us. We're able to love ourselves, like truly unconditionally love ourselves and then in turn love others without condition and to enter into 
a more beautiful depth of intimacy that isn't available when we have an armored heart. We're able to know who we are at a deeper level and to create a life that we love that really resonates with our authentic essence. From that place, I mean, anything is possible. It's so beautiful to live with an open heart. We're seeing massive shifts take place on planet Earth and more and more people are awakening to the truth of who they are. But it can be quite a discombobulating experience when we're awakening to what's possible and what our potential is, but the way that we've been conditioned and the way that our human has been operating in life isn't in alignment with this deeper truth that we are sensing within. Breathwork, I believe, is one of the most powerful tools that we have access to to really help us transmute this conditioning that's holding us back from being the fullest version of who we are. We have the ability and the control to show up as who we, who we know we really are. And that is a, a completely empowered, sovereign, infinitely powerful creator who can create heaven on earth. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you at one of my ceremonies soon. You can like my Facebook page, which is Emily Jane Reed or follow me on Instagram at emilyjanereed33 or check out my website, which is emilyjanereed.com. I hope to see you soon. So much love. Bye.